falling back into you I thought we'd be smarter I got nothing left to lose You said you fall with me No matter how far it goes Not deep and under today I hope you're doing fine this is the second video of the week and that was all about a lookbook please subscribe it's free full of adventure I do give fashion advice twice a week I love it I love sharing advice everything that I can find when it comes to fashion in general I do have Instagram snapchat Twitter and Facebook and I have my new magazine that went out which was like on the 1st of April so it's gonna be in there it's gonna be on my website which is 3weeatprintandshop.com and on there you're gonna find a lot of other things such as like services and um, a blog part so for this month I really chose to actually go deep in like three main trends French cut the white boot sneaker and ugly sneakers trend that we're currently having and then the third one was all about like pastel colors how we can match it how we can coordinate it and how we can actually make it your own appropriate it and just make it look fabulous on you so like i said everything is going to be much more in details in the description box below so definitely 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 check it out really short magazine it's like 15 pages so there's nothing much more i can say to it just for you to read it out and check it out let me know what you think about it and if you liked it of course for today it was another lookbook and this lookbook was um all around the polka dots theme 
that is so 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 trendy at the moment polka dot slash neutral tones because everything that i could find or everything that you saw on the lookbook for it was like polka dots so it was like black and white do have a lot of options when it comes to it because a lot of lot of styles when it comes to it there's another way to show you how you can style a trend that is so hard for the spring one with three main outfits and again it was three different outfits so don't hesitate to tell me what you think about it and this point is gonna be about why I did the way I did and uh, yes if you want to see the rest just keep on watching <laughs> My first outfit was a jumper and to me it was just a perfect starting point because you have a lot of pocket dots, pants, tops, a lot of like styles. This one from Zara and uh, what I love about this jumper is that it's so light on your skin. It's like perfect when it's like not as cold, when it's like getting actually a little bit hotter and warmer. It's gonna be perfect and for spring or summer even it's the best thing ever I put it with my coat dusty pink coat that you actually know now like a lot it was this nice dusty pink coat from Zara as well I bought it a couple of months ago I think it was last year the combination of these two was just good because this one for me is a basic because it's like black and white so you are allowed to add actually colors to it just because of the basic colors of it was to pair that with that <laughs> with my little fishnet socks that i bought at vero moda if i found something similar i'm gonna like link it in the description box below as usual i really like the style of it just because the white here just adds another pop and it's plain so it's like perfect and just for more details i added this new fishnet socks so it wasn't like i wasn't trying to overdo it but i just wanted to add a lot of details to my outfits. Last thing was my bag. It was this bag from Zara as well. I showed you that on my haul for this week. If you want to have different prints, you have to play with the color family here. If it's the same color family, it's good. And for the jumper, it was black and white, and this bag is the same. So it was a really nice way to just like combine different types of prints and in the middle you have the dusty pink coat so I think it just like contrasting really nicely when you saw the whole visual thing I think it's just amazing when it comes to like the contrast of it I really love this little mini city bag because it's so 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 easy to carry on everything about this outfit was just chic a bit sophisticated just because of the colors and the simpleness of it I guess but everything was really 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 much more like sophisticated compared to the other outfits so it's something that I love a lot and it's definitely much more feminine than the other outfits that you saw after so we're gonna get to the second outfit the starting point was this nice body from Zara that you saw at the beginning of the week and I paired it with pants from H&M and um, it was just a nice way to mix up the feminine and the masculine here. This belt from Topshop <laughs> brought that nice, nice feminine touch to it just because the pants was not as a feminine. It was just in the middle. So just to bring up a little bit more like feminine cuteness touch to it i had to like add the belt with the embellishments and i think it was really nice i think it was so nice enough i had my leather jacket that you seen so many times now a little jacket from h now it was just a way for me to add the edgy touch to it which is like my signature when it comes to it so it was just amazing and i did my white boots to the to this outfit so to me it was a really nice way to just like add another brightness another color to the whole outfit i really 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 love this one just because if you're tomboyish, if you have that kind of tomboyish side, I think this look would look really great on you just because you have the feminine touch but it's not overdone. It's gonna make you look like a cute princess. It's not gonna like, it's not gonna be overdone. Not a tomboyish type of girl. I'm more like a feminine but I think I like playing with both sides. I like playing with the masculine touch and then the feminine touch and here the feminine touch was the top just because it was a little bit like open here but not too much again good combination and it was a good mix match it was a really nice way to like mix match styles here and uh, i really 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 love it i mean it's 
one of the things that I love the most is to be able to mix my styles and I think it's gonna be my signature. I love it. Add my own touch. I'm gonna do it. So let me know what you think about it. But I think this outfit was just nice because of it. So the polka dot theme. I went with the skirt this time. The skirt that I went for was this one from H&M. What I did with this skirt is to pair that up with this top that I've had for a while now. It's a really nice top with a nice details all the way on the front and it's a super bright it's like off white it's not totally white but it's off white the shoes and for the rest i really 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 had fun just adding stuff to it for this type of skirt that having it with a really nice sweater is really the go for it's like the thing that you need or have to do because of the trend because all everybody is doing that over instagram and over social media everybody is doing it but for me it's all about appropriating a trend and if it's not for you you don't have to necessarily like follow that trend and i think personally that because of my shape because i have a really small frame if i have to wear a really big sweater on it the bottom is like quite flowy and fluffy and a little bit large just gonna disappear to be able to have that kind of really nice shape without like having to show too much weight either it's about like trying to cinch my waist again just because it's like the thinnest and smallest part of my body I wanted to see and know what is your body is for i mean it's good to follow a trend but you need to be able to be aware of your body shape and if that body shape is good for that trend so i did much more like fun accessories to it and i love it so much and that i add to my outfit was this nice hat from top shop <laughs> so 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 cool just because it like brings the trend effect right from the get-go i just love the fact that it's expected you know Top it off as outerwear, I added my denim jackets. Everything is really, 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 I would say detailed, if I could say it like that. More unique in a way. Last thing but not least was my sneakers from Zara. I literally wear them every day. It's not even a joke. I literally wear them every day. Look comfy as well, to be honest. I don't hate heels, but sneakers have been my cup of tea for a while now, you know, yeah. I love this outfit because of the combination of everything i think it was maybe a lot more into it just because i think it was all about having to add details i mean the back of my hat i did that kind of trendy look because it's edgy more street style because of the sneakers and but it's the kind of street styles that i love <laughs> if that makes sense i stayed in the neutral theme here the polka dots was a really nice print and then the rest of it was just every details to be added to the polka dots and my main goal here was to just keep that kind of neutral effect to add colors but having to keep a neutral effect all the way a little bit of pop colors but not too much because the denim jacket really added that kind of pop color compared to the rest of the outfit and it really went well with the polka dot because i knew i was gonna add so much to it my top was gonna be something that i really really wanted the simplest ever i didn't want to do too much to it i didn't want to just like overdo it it's a matter of knowing how you can like play with details it's all about playing with details here please let me know what you think about it that was it for me for today i hope you enjoyed it if you did definitely get back at me and if you have any comment on any question just get back at me in the comment section below don't forget to check out my last magazine which is the april one because definitely for you that i'm doing all of that so get back at me let me know what you think about it let me know what you thought about the outfits that you saw today and definitely let me know what was your favorite i have my favorites of course all the time but what was your favorite and why and i'll be back next week as usual on tuesday so until then have a great great wonderful weekend and uh, of course smile because it's free bye